Hi, this is James from the Hornball Technical Support Team, and this is a short tutorial to show you how to configure tasks on a business process. So, in our previous few tutorials around BPM, uh, we have configured a new business process for a change, and we've configured authorization and all the stages around it, and it's all tied in together. So, our last couple of uh, things here to do is um, set up tasks. So, at the moment, we can see that just past the authorization stage, it's got to a perform the work stage. Uh, so, here you can actually uh, assign out individual tasks to the individual. Uh, resolver groups that needs to do their particular work before the work is completed. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back into our process, so file manage settings, process settings. Um, so I'm going to go into our James process, process stages, and perform the work. So um, we've gone through most of these now, so the next one I'm going to go through is tasks. So on this particular stage I want to set up tasks. So now I'm going to create the individual tasks themselves. Again, a little like the authorization, uh, you can set it up so you can add tasks on the fly, or you can have predefined tasks set up. So I'm going to create a few predefined tasks. Maybe uh, task one. Uh, Create an account. Uh, again, it's completely up to yourselves here. Uh, I'm going to assign it to the administrator, set a priority against it, and add record. Maybe task two. Maybe give access to like a shared drive or something. Uh, maybe one final task. something to do with the email account. Okay. Right. So we've seen there that um, there was actually a few options within each of these tasks uh, to set a predecessor. So you have options here to either show, when you get to this task stage, to show each of the tasks instantly, or uh, which will actually be assigned to the people instantly, or you can set up predecessors, which means that um, tasks won't actually be created until prior tasks have actually been done. So that's quite handy. So you can select, for example, from the second task, I want task 1 to be created before the second one's done. And from the third task, I want task 2 to be done before this one's assigned. So that can be quite handy. Um, for this particular example, I'm just going to use them as plain here. Um, I'm also going to set these here. So if they've failed, set up in progress. If it's completed, work completed. So basically if these, a bit like the authorization, when it's authorized, it will automatically move to the next stage. Same with these tasks. If it's completed, then it'll go to the next stage. Um, so these two tick boxes at the top here, disabled manual stage progression. This will be um, a little like the authorization we've seen when we went to the stage tab. Um, we've seen that it will, um, uh, grey out the actual BPM status so you can't manually change it to move it on which means that if it was moved on these tasks uh, would have been just there although the, the actual change request itself the main parent call had been moved on which is not good so again it's up to yourselves whether you want to set that or not in this particular case I will I will set it so I'm just going to save changes and going to log a brand new call Test call. Put Alan Castle in there. Process. And log. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to our tasks stage. Emergency. And I'm going to quickly approve both of these. We've been through this already. done. So now, a um, bit like authorization, it will now move on to the perform requests, perform the work, and you can see that the this is greyed out here, so you can't more, uh, automatically move it on. That's what we selected there in the process. 
you cannot manually change it. So from the tasks tab here you can see that our free tasks have been created and assigned out. Um, now this one, this stage now won't move on until these are done. Um, you'll, if we set up that predecessor only task 1 would appear there. When it's completed uh, you'll see task 2 appear then you know, keep going down etc etc. So I'm just going to complete these tasks. To complete them you wouldn't normally do it through actions resolve. These tasks are different to the standard calls and the reason are is because these are meant as small tasks um, for you to complete. This isn't the main call so to complete them you would use the drop down box at the bottom of task status here and set them to task successfully completed. Um, so once you've done that you can click on save. Um, if you close down the actual full request itself you can use this parent reference in the top right here to automatically go back to it again. So. Um, the reason why this doesn't contain any like the customer information is because it's purely meant for a quick task uh, and and for you to refer back to the main parent reference if needed. So I've uh, successfully completed that and click on save. So you can see here successfully completed. Uh, I'm just going to do the same with the others. Completed and completed, and then because we've completed them all it's automatically moved us on to the next stage. So that's all around tasks. Uh, they're quite simple really. I want to experiment with the predecessor and uh, tasks on the fly. Um, any, any problems, uh, let me know.